Hello. Today is Friday and it is July the 29th, 2016 and here we are, right? Okay, well I'm going to call this a WTF Friday. Okay, I want to know why all the news media on television, you know I pay so much to get that um, television all the shows and all the TV channels and all that why the news is not reporting on some things you know in the last few days I've watched the news trying to get information on what's going on with North Korea and stuff because they've been putting out you know reports and and threatening everybody in the United States and so is Mr. Putin that Vladimir Putin of Russia. Now, you know, I have a lot of respect for world leaders. They've got to have a tough job. I mean, they're in charge of so much stuff, and it's hard to be those people that are in charge. And I have respect for our president. I always have. No matter who is president, I have respect for them, even if I don't agree with what they're doing. But, you know, I always thought it was the people in charge. It's their job to protect their citizens and to look out for us and let us know what's going on. So it really concerns me when they don't report things that are happening. Okay, like for instance, there is a page on Twitter that you can go to and I will put links to everything I'm talking about. I will do the best I can for you so you can look it up yourself. There is a page on Twitter, it's called Earthquake Alerts, and you just go to Twitter and you look up Earthquakes Today or Quakes Today at Twitter. Worldwide Earthquake Alerts based on USGS data, 1.5 or higher. Now, today is the 29th, there was a 5.4 earthquake in Indonesia today. Now, I heard that there was an earthquake real close to where that CERN is. Now, I looked up that CERN thing and what it is actually called the Large Hadron Collider. That's what it's called. And it's located in Geneva, Switzerland. Now, this thing is where they crash particles together at an accelerated rate of speed so fast that when it crashes together they can take pictures of what happens when when the event happens and they're trying to figure out you know what happened during the Big Bang they're trying to figure out power and stuff from that has a lot to do with some kind of nuclear stuff nuclear studies so <clears throat> What I was trying to figure out, is it possible that CERN is causing earthquakes? Because I've read a lot of articles about that, but I really haven't seen that many earthquakes in Geneva, Switzerland. So I'm going to start keeping an eye on that Earthquakes Today watch. It's on Twitter. So just in case, right? Then something else I was worried about that I haven't been able to find on CNN. I mean, I watch CNN a lot and they haven't mentioned anything about this. The only thing they're talking about is Hillary Clinton this and Hillary Clinton that and how she's going to beat Trump and all that. Well, you know what? I don't think that's going to happen. I think eventually people are, are going to see what is really going on with her and they're going to vote for Trump. So there you go. But something else that CNN is not reporting to us, or at least I haven't seen it. North Korea, okay, there's a, there's a city there. It's called Pyongyang, okay, North Korea. They are very, very angry. And they keep putting out this rhetorical speeches and stuff about how they're going to attack the USA if we don't get out of there and quit you know, quit doing all these war games and all these military exercises so close to them. 
Okay, well, the guy over there is a top diplomat. And he says that the U.S. crossed the red line. Okay. And I'm not going to read this whole article to you. That would take forever. So what I'm going to say to you is this. What they're saying is the United States is causing an uprising to happen that could lead to an attack by North Korea on U.S. military that is located in South Korea. Also, they said they have got weaponry enough to hit the United States. Okay, there you go, right? So why isn't CNN or our president telling us this? Why aren't? Why do we have to see it somewhere else? You know, I really wish Yahoo had its own new its own news channel on television because I would watch them. I see a lot of things on Yahoo News that I don't see anywhere else, and I don't see it on CNN, a major media. Or Fox News, are they reporting this? <clears throat> I'm going to start watching them a little bit closer. But here lately, all they've been talking about is the presidential election. Well, if we go into any type of war, is there still going to be a presidential election? I'm starting to think all these rumors, you know, about our president wanting to um, delay the elections... It could be true, because if we end up in war, what's going to happen? They're going to put off the elections. There you go, right? So, I'm really, really concerned about all that. And I just wanted to let my subscribers know what I'm looking at these days. Um, today, we've got 24 subscribers. I'm doing really good. It's coming up. I would love to have 100 subscribers by Christmas. That would be a very nice Christmas present. So, all of my subscribers, if you're watching, please share my videos. All of my new people that are coming in, if you haven't watched me before, please hit the subscribe button. Okay? Don't miss my videos. I do good videos. Um, I'm not the best at it yet. I'm still kind of new. But, I'm getting it. Okay? I'm working hard on it. And I am getting word out there on everything that I hear about. So, <clears throat> be sure and keep an eye out for North Korea. Keep an eye out for earthquakes happening. And also, um, volcanoes. Keep an eye out for those things. And keep an eye on Switzerland. Whatever's going on there is kind of weird. Alright, thank you so much for watching me. This is Friday Updates. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.